To create the design, you need to add the cylinder with the 24 words, then rotate the cylinder into the 90 degree as like this, then scale it along the x-axis. After that, shift A, add the cube, and then go to the edit mode and add the center loop cuts like this. Then turn on your extra mode, select these faces, and then delete these faces. Then select these words and you need to press F to fill the gap at there so you can isolate the object and you can press F to fill the gap. Then you need to adjust its scale along the X axis. So select the cube and then scale it along the X axis and give the right position to it. After that you need to select both the objects and you need to use the boolean operation which is union. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Then go to the edit mode, select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merge. Then you need to use the knife tool at here and you need to create the cuts like this. Then select this corner edge and Ctrl B add bevel on it. Add 4 segment bevel and give the right bevel width. The next thing you need to select the words right click connect vertex path and create the chord based topology. If it's necessary then you can add a few more loop cuts and you can maintain the good topology on the model. Now you can see we have got that face loop structure at there. And just dissolve the center edges. Now first you need to select circular face and you need to use the insert operation on it. After that you need to select all the faces and use the insert operation one more time. Then you can give the right position to the words as like this. Then add one more loop cut like this and then select the faces one more time with the shift select and then scale them along the y and z axis. Just create a little bit of tapper form at there. Then you need to add the supportive loop cuts like this. And here also you need to create the right topology to the back side. Just you need to try to maintain the good topology. You can see here I have got a right face loop. And now we can add few more edge loops like this. And now just you need to give the right position to the words in this way and just try to keep a good distance. So you can see I have dissolved that upper edge loop. We will use the another method add there. Now you can see the loop structure add there. I don't want a cleachiness add there so that's why I have dissolved that edge loop. I just want to keep it as simple as possible. Just give the right position to the words and then select these faces with the shift select and then you need to use the insert operation add there. Use the small insert operation. This insert operation will help us to maintain the good harder edge on the model. And then just adjust the position of the words little bit to maintain the good topology. Now you can see that looks really well. Just add few more supportive loop cuts on the model in this way. And now you can see we have got the smooth decent form to the one side of the model. And now just we need to take the symmetry. So just go to the edit mode, select everything and then mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x axis. Now that looks really well, shear smooth it. Now I want to create a cylindrical boolean at there so that's why I'm just giving the position to these edges. So you can select the edge loops and you can use the edge slide add there with the double tap G. Here I can go for that boolean with the 8 word cylinder. So that's why you need to add the 8 word cylinder. Adjust the scale of the cylinder and give the right position to it. And you need to scale it along the x axis. And select both the objects and use the boolean operation which is difference. And now just you need to give the right position to this boolean. You can hide one part of the model and you can see how it looks from the back side and that is also important that you need to give the right scale and right position. Then only it will looks really well. After that you can apply the boolean modifier and you can delete the cutter object. And now the next thing you need to create the right topology at here. So you can select the words and you can merge them or you can select the words right click connect vertex path. You can do anything. Same thing you need to do at the back side also. Then select this face loop and then extrude it along its normal to create that loop structure. And then you need to use the insert operation add there. In this way. Then shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection to make a different object. Then use that another cylinder and select its edge loop and then move it along the X axis. And then press F to fill the gap. And just create a little bit of design at there, add supportive loop cuts and create a little bit of tapper form. This is like a rod which goes across these two holes and it connects two sides of that mechanical part. You can take the symmetry at here and you can create this kind of design. 
then turn on the subd modifier and shade smooth it and now you can see that looks really well just we need to add a few more loop cuts on this rod so that's why I just add the loop cuts like this and then refine that form a little bit so it will looks really well just you need to use the few insert operation at there and play with the topology and now you can see the model looks really well just take the symmetry along the x-axis and that's it easily we have created this kind of design you can check the face orientation if it's wrong then go to the edit mode select everything and then press alt n to recalculate the normal and now you can see the face orientation is right and we are getting the smooth shading on the model just select the circular face and use the insert operation you need to subdivide it so you will get the more vertex count then use the loop tool add there to get the proper circle then use the insert operation one more time then increase that selection and scale it a little bit then extrude it along the x-axis and add a loop cut like this and then use the insert operation set there this is like a simple block out then you need to add one more cube add there and you need to give the right position and right scale to this cube in this way and here you need to create the triangle form so that's why you need to dissolve one edge of the cube like this you can dissolve that corner edge and you will get this triangle just give the right position to the words and just try to match it perfectly and now I'm just selecting this edge loops and use the loop tool add there and then rotate it a little bit and just try to give the right position to it. Then change the transform pivot point to the 3D cursor and then rotate it into the 90 degree like this. So shift D and then rotate it into the 90 degree. Then you can select these objects and you can use the boolean operation which is union to connect them together. Then you can use the knife tool and you can create cuts like this and just give the right position to the words. Now just you need to merge the words properly. You can see the way I am creating this topology. Creating this topology it is very simple just it will take your time a little bit. So be patient and create that topology. Create that right topology, right supportive structure to maintain the form of the model and to achieve the right design. At the first place also you can create this design and then you can go for that side design. So here you can use the symmetry. But now we can't use the symmetry so that's why we need to do this manually. You can use any modeling method, any modeling way. The thing is that you need to give the time to model it and to experiment with the design. So watch the process carefully so you can easily understand the way I am creating this topology.
in this way we can create this kind of design this kind of complex mechanical form so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care